Good morning, good morning, kingdom, king, and priest, Peter Spencer, wisdom, speak. I love you, my brothers and sisters. I love you. I pray today you have an awesome and wonderful day. I just want to talk real quick about reaping and sowing. A lot of times we do reaping and sowing. We don't always talk about it like that, but reaping and sowing is, is that you might say something to somebody in a negative way, and you end up reaping that negative thing that you spoke to somebody and vice versa, it comes back on you. So we got to be careful what we reap and sow and sow and reap, especially now in the kingdom. So be careful what you sowing out there because you will get a harvest, be it good or bad. So with that being said, my brothers and sisters, let's go to the throne of grace. We cover this prayer in the blood of Jesus Christ, him crucified, the death, burial, and the resurrection of the cross of Calvary. In that same blood, we dip and cover our heart, spirit, soul, mind, and our robes with that same blood of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God for the remission of sins. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, the great counselor of all things unrighteous, through deeds or words that is unholy, unrighteous, wicked, and self-reliant, we repent of our sins as we ask that you will cancel all things not spoken by others who say the words come from you, and they really don't, as well as words that was written but truly is not from the throne of grace in the name of Jesus Christ. For many of us have drank the words of dirty water that we thought was from you. And we moved on it like a sheep without a shepherd. We grazed in a field of sickly grass, which the shepherds we thought that was supposed to feed us with the righteous word. But we have been feeding on the pesticide of unclean, unrighteous word that is tearing us up on the inside and doesn't produce fruit on the outside of our mind. Remove and release the unrighteous word that has gone into our spiritual stomach that we have digested and we have said amen to that truly is not your word that produces spiritual fruit in the name of Jesus Christ. Remove these cancer causing words that is totally annihilating our spiritual walk that is not feeding us in the flock of God. In your word, it says this wise that in Galatians 6, 7, 10, be not deceived. God is not mocked for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall the spirit reap life everlasting. Let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are the household of faith. Father God, we come asking you to loose the righteous word from the throne of grace that we will hear what the Spirit is saying to the church today in the name of Jesus Christ. For it is in the great name of Jesus Christ that great and mighty changes happen. So guide us, lead us into all spirit, all truth. For our works will be judged at the great day. So give to us the righteous word that will last and bear holy and righteous fruit in the name of Jesus Christ. We come lay this petition at the foot of the throne of grace today and in the name above every name, Jesus Christ, we repent and ask that you'll forgive us of this. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray and ask for refreshing. Amen, amen, and amen. My brothers and sisters, I love your kingdom. You have an awesome and wonderful day. Reaping and sowing in the name of Jesus. Be blessed.